The monthly profit for a local water park can be modeled by P of T is equal to negative 0.9 T square plus 31.78 T minus 144.14, where P of T represents the monthly profit in thousands of dollars for the local water park when tickets are sold for T dollars each. Part A. What is the water park's monthly profit if it sells tickets for $12 each? All right, so if they sell the tickets for $12 each, then T is equal to 12. Then P of T, the profit when, I'm sorry, P of 12, and the profit when they sell tickets for $12 would be given by negative 0.9 by 12 square plus 31.78 times 12 minus 144.14. Let's calculate that. All right, Nine, negative 0.9 by 12 squared plus 31.78 by 12 minus 144.14 is 107.62. So, the monthly profit when selling tickets tickets for twelve dollars each is one hundred seven point six two thousand dollars. All right, so what does that mean? One one zero seven point six two thousand would be one zero seven comma six two zero one hundred seven thousand dollars roughly. How much should the water park sell tickets for if they want a monthly profit of 125000 right, So they want a monthly profit of 125000 They want P of T, then, to be 125 Remember that the P of T represents the monthly profit in thousands of dollars. $125,000 means 125 for this problem. So then we have negative 0.9 by t squared plus 31.78 by t minus 144.14 is equal to 125. All right, we want to solve this equation. Um, I would recommend using the quadratic formula, but first let's get it into that standard form by subtracting the 125 off. So we'd have negative 0.9 t squared plus 31.78 t minus 169.14 is equal to 0. Applying the quadratic formula, we would have t is equal to negative 31.78. I switched those numbers up by mistake here. 31.78. So negative 31.78 plus or minus the square root 31.78 square minus 4 by negative 0.99 by negative 169.14. That's all divided by 2 times negative 0.9. So we'd have negative 31.78 plus or minus. Let's bring up our calculator and calculate under that radical. We'd have 31.78 square minus 4 by negative 0.9 by negative 169.14. So that's 401.0644. Double check that. Yeah, OK. <clears throat> and that's all divided by negative 1.8. Continuing to use the calculator, 
me scoot this over here so I can see. All right, open quantity, negative 31.78 minus square root 401.0644 is under the radical. Close the radical, close the numerator, and divide by negative 1.8. Hit enter. Gives us 28.5. Seven eight. All right, and I realized I made an error here. That should not be a 169, but rather a 269.14. And finishing, fixing that. Let's fix this up here. We should have had under the radical 31.78 square minus 4 by negative 0.9 by negative 269.14. So under the radical, we have 41.0644. Big difference. All right, so then we would have had open quantity negative 31.78 minus square root forty one point oh six four four close the radical close the numerator divide by negative one point eight twenty one point one seven and I missed the eight there it's 31.78, and I missed the 8. Got to be careful here. 8, and that should have been a minus. Okay. All right, 21.21. All right, and hit second enter, and let's change that minus to a plus. All right, there we go. So, we have t is approximately 14.10, uh, t is approximately 21.22. So conclusion, they want a monthly profit of 125000 All right, so the water park... should sell the tickets for $14.10 or $21.22 if they want a profit of $125,000. And part C, same function, find the vertex for this model and explain its meaning in regard to the water park. All right, well, finding the vertex is easy. We have the T coordinate of the vertex, which is negative B over 2A. All right, so calculating that, we would have, um, oh, an A is a negative number here. So that would be a negative, two negatives is a positive. And we'd have 31.78 divided by 1.8, which is 17.65 repeating. Uh, so 17.66 roughly. Let's, let's approximate it as 17. 0.66. All right, and then the the y coordinate of the vertex, the p coordinate of the vertex, would be p of 17.66, and so that would be negative 0.9 by 17.66 squared, plus 31.78 by 17.66, minus 144.14. .14. 
negative 0.9 by 17.66 square plus 31.78 by 17.66 minus 144.14. I missed a closing parenthesis over here, so let's fix that. All right, that looks better. 136.41. So then the vertex, putting that together, the vertex is 17.66, 136.41. Now, interpretation. This profit function is quadratic and opens down. Since it opens down, the vertex is a maximum. So what does it tell us? The profit is maximized when the tickets are sold for $17.66. The maximum profit is 136.41 thousand dollars.